me, Benjamin. You fuck Luke, you fuck me first, and I fuck you double. You can see it as though there's an exact science to it. But when, uh, before we were Homo sapiens, how did we, what was our behavior like? The bonobo is a fascinating monkey. Um, they are known to pause and nurture the wounds of injured monkey, uh, bonobos that are not of blood relation. <coughs> uh, and to do so, and to also not, 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 not to do so with a view to uh, mating in mind as, you know, some recompense for helping heal a wound. They just like, uh, they have a culture that's, I think, the cl maybe the closest comparison to us at our best. Uh, I gotta read that Atheist and the Bonobo. It's, I'm sure it'll be a fascinating book. So many books. Books, books, books. But yeah, I consider, uh, from my point of view, the ones who are theologians that believe in biblical creation plus all four gospels, they will not sense um, a bisexual in distress. They'll be they'll be quietly. Uh, They'll feel good about it, whether even if they're not told about it, is one of the observations I've made. Um, a raped bisexual will arouse a theologian. Um, they won't, again, they don't. They are unaware of it. And they just, they get happy and talk about happy ideas of theirs. Uh, positive news in their life. So, my case, my argument is that it, it's incestuously celebrating the, the conspiracy to capture and kill bisexuals is what is what's represented in the Bible, uh, and especially once psychology is is thought to be meaningful in addition to the Bible. And I think that's that's why when you look up the health statistics for the group. John, the, the, the verse in John 3.16, and I tell you, the book of John, read it and shred it. Yeah, it it's, it's the most horrid, uh, it's, a, it's a disgraceful book. But John 3.16 is why I think there's a, a stereotype amongst religious people that bisexuals are people who, who fuck anything that moves. Like me and like me in that car then. Oh, 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 oh. See, we just did it. We just did it, but I made sure it was censored on the camera. But that's the thing. What they've what they've admitted of themselves is that they take. A man who said to love everyone, they love and give thanks for his murder, Calvary. Um, they think he's thankful for his own murder, thanks to those four Gospels mashed together in the book, stupid book of John. 
um, Luke and Matthew. And so, yeah, John, John 3.16 is, uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that all who believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So in their mind, their view of eternal life it corresponds to the, the death and eating of a man who loves everyone. So yeah, the stereotype, you could be a celibate bisexual. I mean, I'm, I'm pissed off at this talk, like, oh, they're both. It's like, can you just take your Adam and Eve and fuck up, fuck off? And do use your fucking brain, grow a brain? that he gave his only son. So, you respond to that with the question, so you are trying to say, Christian, that um, God sacrificing himself to himself saved you and everyone else from himself. Uh, And now you've got to look out for the others and save them too. God sacrifices himself to himself to save us from himself. Uh, there's no there's no more elaborate way to say that this is a Bronze Age way of saying, you know, fuck yourself, fuck yourself, fuck yourself. Kill them and fuck yourselves. Kill them and fuck yourselves. The ones who, the ones who are loving towards everyone, kill them. Kill them, celebrate their deaths. And then fuck yourselves. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I's had enough. As well had enough. So, what be the answer? I think, um... It's a complicated one, too. I've caught up on some sleep this week. I wouldn't say enough, but some. Um, It should be... I suppose acknowledged within the definition and the constituency of the Religions Discrimination and Sex Discrimination Act. Um, that what you what they're leaving themselves with is the prospect of finding people who are in favor of rights, defend rights, or worse still, interested in the improvement of rights, and sacrifice them, and everyone will stand back at a distance. And just watch because it'll feel like the Christ story over again, over and over again. Uh, from their point of view, what they say is um, such and such a person thinks he's Jesus. Now, unless they stipulate in what capacity, they are talking like religious fundamentalists because it's not, it's not a compliment, sociologically speaking. If they make the comment in a sociological context, then they're admitting to targeting. And if they're admitting to targeting, then... See, you gotta... The horror is you... you, we realize these people are p- probably going home, getting into bed, fucking, and then going, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus, oh God, oh Jesus, as corresponding to the moments of their orgasms. So, 
that a bi that bisexuals were um, more natural than heterosexuals. I mean, saying to say uh, they're both is to call them a. is to call the bisexual a hermaphrodite if they mean it in any anatomic sense which they can't and also it, it leaves psych lovers with, with the instantly with the um, split split identity Com uh, model active in the head so who do you think came first, Bi bisexuality or churches uh, inventing weddings? Um, uh, d defining heteros as the norm. Norm who? I haven't met Norm yet. In any case, uh, watch what they say and uh, note how the talk is very reli much religiously based. Saying they're both is, is like saying put put Adam and Eve together, and they'll and they'll enjoy that idea because that once again is a absconding from the question. Well, ha who's uh, who are the how did the children of Adam and Eve reproduce? They don't want to address that question, so they find it easier to call, to go say, well, bisexuals are both. Uh, really. I'm not quite sure about that. If ge if gender identity definition is governed by religious judges, then the Religious Act, uh, Discrimination Act and Sex Discrimination Act have been simultaneously violated at the same time. And... That's that's the that's the act. If I like the religious and sex discrimination acts together. Keep our religious stories intact. Is what I think they'll say. And do. How about you? What do you think? Tricky question. I have to think about it. Okay. Go think about it.